Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to come to you guys today to just fill you in on all of the crap that I have been buying. Like, okay, it's not crap, but I have been buying so much stuff, like slowly but surely, just kind of like buying stuff and throwing it in a bag and just saying, hey, I'ma talk about this. If it was good, if it was bad, or however it was, I'ma just talk about it and let you guys know and i know here on youtube everybody talks about their empties but i'm gonna do it a little bit different because of course you gotta have something a little bit different that's not like everybody else and i hope that's what some of you guys are looking for um mine are gonna be my empty boxes and so because not all of my stuff is empty yet some of it is still holding on <laughs> I'm still stretching it, I'm still making it work. <laughs> but I'm gonna come with my empty boxes. So basically this is like my boxes or bags that basically I bought, I'm using, or I'm out of, or I'm still using, but it's not empty yet. It's not empty yet because it's not empty yet. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk to you guys and just update you on all of the stuff that I have bought so far. And it's just like, a couple different things that I bought probably in February and March and I just want to come to you guys maybe I'll do that maybe I'll do every two months because I'm not going out and buying 700 things at once ain't nobody got time for that I got real people bills <laughs> not that other people don't I don't want to come across like that but I got bills to pay so I get stuff here and there and I'm putting it all together and we gonna talk about it so <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see my empty boxes, keep on watching. The first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is, is this. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. Um, it is an empty box, but I do have the product here and I'm still using it. Um, I have a long way to go and I wanted to talk about it. That's why I'm doing empty boxes because I still have a long way to go, but I want to talk about it. So this is the... Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation Exclusive Cocoa Complex Matte Rose Petal Finish. And this is medium to full coverage in the color tan. When I tell you, let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> when I tell you guys how amazing this powder is and it smells like chocolate like it's it's so amazing I got it in tan um, because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter than my actual skin color just to keep those highlight spots highlighted um, and also just to blend everything together this foundation powder I use it as like my setting powder is like has a mirror on it but it's like amazing like amazing and it's a flip cap it comes with a mirror and it has a little sponge here I haven't used yet um I use it every day and I'm gonna keep buying it <laughs> to use every single day of my life every day it's like amazing I'm so happy that I stumbled upon it um and I'm so happy that I actually went a color lighter I think the next one is deep tan and I got the one before it so I got tan um, I'm in C45 in Mac so tan if you want something a little bit lighter and not actual skin tone this is perfect I actually have it on now I'm having a bad a bad acne I'm having a bad face week don't judge me y'all <laughs> don't judge my pimples please don't judge me I'm having a bad face week that's why I'm here for my face so don't judge me don't leave me no comments shading me ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> the next thing I wanted to talk about is my new blush and it is one of the Mac um, pro long wear blushes it is called eternal Sun and y'all it's popping I actually have it on as well now I use it as a bronzer because I love it so much. I actually have that here too, and I just got it, so it's popping. Like, if you guys want a bronzer and you're my color, again, I'm NC45 and MAC, um, it's popping, y'all. 
It's called, again, it's called Eternal Sun. Pop it, pop it. Next thing that I got, um, last week, I think, I got, um, it was a quick pick me up. My brows, I'm working on my brows, you guys. This one actually is always a little bit better than this one. Like, see, let me just open it right now. I just need a little bit of a tail. You see? There we go. Just a little bit of a tail. I'm working on my eyebrows. I'm getting there. One day y'all gonna look up and I'm at, let me see what my dream goal is right now. A thousand subscribers and y'all gonna say, dang, Corey came a long way. Her eyebrows popping. <laughs> So y'all gonna say that. I got the Brow Wiz, and I know it's not the Brow Definer, which is new, but the Brow Wiz. I wanted something that's gonna like shade in this a little bit more, but keep this a little bit darker. Like see, this needs to be a little bit darker. I do use the pomade, which is um, in the color Ebony, and I got this in the color Ebony as well. And it has a little spoolie on it. Um, so I got, I got the brow wiz from Anastasia. Anastasia. Anastasia, Anastasia. Empty box. I like it so far. I've only tried it a couple times, but so far so good. So we went in right here. It's a beauty blender. So I got the black beauty blender and this is the packaging that it comes in. I actually don't have it here because it has a hole in it. I don't see any beauty gurus with holes in their beauty blender. That thing cost me $20. <sighs> no, I'm lying. Luster Lux, she, her dog like ripped her beauty blender apart. So yeah, it was, it was not nice. But everybody you see their beauty blenders all nice and clean and fresh out the package. Ain't nobody got time for that either. I have is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this I just picked up, you know, that little counter at Sephora that kind of calls you and speaks to you when you're in line. Yeah, this was like the little sample, it's not a sample, but it's a little travel size one. Yes, I have it here, and mine's all makeup y and so, but it's it's still love and it's still. It's still some product in there. So far, so good. Um, I like the, don't judge me, you guys, but the e.l.f. Misting Spray, Setting Spray, I like it better than this. I like it better than this. This is $3. This was like $14, I think, $14 to $16 in this one. I'm empty. This is the empty. I need some more. $3, Walmart, wherever you want to go, winning. You're winning with this. So if you're just starting out like I am, done. Done deal. The next thing that I have is the lips that I actually have on now that I actually love. I wish you guys could have saw. Actually, I'm going to swatch it. So it goes on. So it goes on like a lip gloss. And then it starts to dry. Starts to dry a little shimmery but matte. So that's it swatched. So bomb. So this is my empty box. And this is the Sephora Rogue. Wait. <laughs> is that in French? <laughs> I can't read French. I can't read, what is it, French? Yeah, French, I can't read French. It's the Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color and it's in Big Luster. So, it's like a purpley matte color. I like it, it's bomb. It's bomb, it's bomb. I think I got from Amazon. It took it a while to get here, but it's the brush egg. And basically, I needed something to clean my brushes and I haven't used it yet. I tried it on my Beauty Blender, as you can see, and it broke. That's why my Beauty Blender has a hole in it. Ugh. But this is a brush egg, so when I try it out for the first time on my brushes, I'm gonna update you guys and tell you how it worked for me. But 
That's it. That's the it. next thing I got were these lashes. Don't buy these. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. These are from eBay. They were like $2. Okay. So duh, they were $2. Why'd you buy them? I don't know. Don't buy these. These are garbage. Don't even waste your money. I can't even figure them out. <sighs> no, these are going in the garbage. Maybe I'll give them to somebody. If you want these, let me know. You probably can figure them out. I can't. No. Mm -mm. Next thing I got, I think it was this month in March, was this BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush 2 palette. It's from TJ Maxx. I was just walking along in TJ Maxx and I called this and I had to pick it up. It's a powder, it's a powder set. And it comes with like a setting powder, contour powder, and then some blushes. Which these two are bae. These two are bae. So, that's that. I haven't really tried it. I think I might have tried it once and forgot that I had it. If you guys do that, please tell me so I'm not like the only one. I like buy things and then I forget that I have them. These actually I did not buy, but these are the All May um, Oil Free Makeup Remover Toilets. My aunt is a couponer and she gets these for free. So these are like my go-to makeup remover because one, they actually do work and like you swipe and makeup is off. You still have to like go in a couple more times to actually get your makeup off then you have to wash your face and all that but for free for the free though <laughs> for free these are winning and this is like a pack and they have like 10 more packs um that are, are waiting to be used but this was in my empties as well so definitely a reuse um if they weren't free and my aunt didn't get them for me would i buy them probably i would probably buy like a store brand though so like if i was at kroger i would buy kroger brand or whatever but because these are free, definitely winning. The thing that I got that's an empty box that I don't think that I have, but this is the Tarte Bl Blur, Tarte Blur Primer. You guys wanna see my review about this primer, which I love, but I didn't put it on today. I tried the Too Faced Coconut Primer today. I didn't like the smell, I don't like coconut, but this, this is so bomb like you put it on and maybe that's why i didn't notice how many pimples i actually had because i put this on today and i didn't see half of these like this one two three four that's happening right here when i put this on earlier everything was gone <laughs> so i'm gonna have to keep using this but this was i think 36 dollars definitely bae like if you see this out and you have issues with your skin like i do definitely pick this up this is a month and i talked about this as well and you will see a demo slash review this is the nars velvet matte skin tint this is like i had to stop using it because i didn't want to run out okay <laughs> How many of you guys are like me? Like you wanna switch to a different foundation because you don't wanna run out? That's how much this is like life. This is life right here. Like I had to stop using it and start using all my other foundations because I didn't wanna run out. And I don't wanna go back and spend $44 because it's a squishy. It's similar to this, which I'm gonna talk to talk about. It's similar to this, it's squishy so you like squeeze out a lot and like I don't want to use it all <laughs> my next foundation is what I have on today this is the NYX stay matte but not flat foundation this foundation I actually ordered from Amazon because you can only get darker skin tone colors online and we got Amazon Prime <laughs> We got Amazon Prime and I think it was like $5 and I'm in the color Sienna. The only thing that I, I have it on today, um, I can still see some of my imperfections and I'm gonna have to definitely, when I start to wear it, I'm gonna have to definitely load it on because you can see some of my blemishes and I don't like that. And then you can still see a lot of the, 
the texture skin that I have in the acne, but this is just a bad acne week as well. Um, it's not so bad, but once you put that blur, <laughs> that tart, yeah, that tart blur, and you put this together, this might be, this might be Batman and Robin. Yeah, Batman and Robin, because this does the job right here. So this is winning. And my last thing is like a throwback. I remember growing up and my mom always had this mascara. But this is this is a clear mascara, but my mom always had the mascara, the green and pink. Like this is like throwback. This is like life right here. Well, I got the clear mascara for my brows. Let me show you how it works. For those of you who do not want to spend however much it costs to get brow gel, I think the benefit benefit one that I have was like thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. <laughs> I know I do that a lot about prices and then I have the item but I thought about it <laughs> I really thought about the item before I actually made that purchase so it was $30 so this was like what six dollars at the grocery store so if you want some type of like clear brow gel and you want something that doesn't cost $30 this one costs like six dollars get this it's a clear transparent mascara and it works it works it seals up your brows and your brows ain't going nowhere <laughs> your brows ain't going nowhere so thank you guys so much for watching um i just wanted to come to you guys and talk about all of the empty boxes that i had sitting around so i can actually throw them away I don't, I don't like it hanging on my door anymore. I want to throw them away and um, I'll start collecting again with all of the new stuff that I'm probably going to start to get. Okay. When you start to get rid of all the old stuff, you got to replace it with new stuff. How many people think like that? <laughs> so I'm going to have to definitely keep saving um, my boxes for my next video. If you guys like this type of video, if you like my new concept if you want to take my concept and my concept and take it to your channel or you guys want me to buy something else to try or whatever the case if you're like me and you have my problem can we be friends because i feel like most times i'm by myself and everybody else is like on fleek wait i'm still on fleek <laughs> i'm still on fleek but they don't i mean on fleek like face on fleek but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you do all that. Bye.